Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? Guys, get Remnant. If you guys haven't got this game and you want to play it with your boy and have a two-man squad or a three-man squad, including me, uh, I'm down. I'm always down. But let's talk about the Demon Lord, though, and just the type of stuff he's getting into. Uh... We see him meet up with the mother of all saints and stuff, so we kind of have an understanding now how much further his influence needs to go. Like, how many more people does he need to reach? How many more people are, you know, going against him? And if you are going against him, who and what do you got? Because if you ain't got nothing crazy strong, you ain't gonna beat him. Uh... And that, that's pretty much what this woman learns this week's episode. She just learns that anything she probably wants to throw at our demon lord is not going to work. And not only is it not going to work, she ha he has, like, uh, you know, made good out of these people that, you know, seemingly weren't going to be that good. You know, like the daughter the youngest luna um she was pretty ridiculous when it came down to just the overall grand scheme of her uh being so you know angry i don't even know she's just like go slay this person do this do that do this you know like she was a very bossy boss and that that was okay but once she's met the demon lord she's humble she's she's even willing to accept a demon kin in her in her presence you know like a demon the same type of people that she's like sworn to fight against and that's a huge improvement for this character that's a huge change in general for her to uh allow herself to do that you know what i mean like to actually bow down to this information he's saying not only that he's just like I wanted to, uh, you know, he's like, I have high expectations of you to, to accept all, you know, and that was enough to kind of be like, damn, you know, like I need to really, really step up my game. And I appreciated that, you know, like that was the coolest part of man, like she's kind of finally understanding it. Oh my God. And if that is the case, then I can, I could definitely back you know this character and like her you know personal growth because if if not she's never going to become you know anything worth to the demon lord and then now uh with the demon lord having this battle and you know fighting the guy that he fought we can now see him um you know getting to a much further place uh and oh um we can see him getting to a further to the people he actually you know thinks can help him being a better person to them uh, any way shape or form and i love that change of pace for him because oh my god this thing is strong oh it's only got one bullet in the mag that's why um and that's that's a good that's a good change for his character because i mean it didn't seem like he cared much but we knew he cared you know like we knew he was not a bad guy and because he wasn't a bad guy there was things that probably he hasn't experienced that can be used against him like oh if you don't you know do what i say you're gonna lose this person um you know or oh if you don't do this i'll kill this person you know like things like that haven't occurred to him yet and with all of his like friends and people being like younger and like much more docile it's it's clear that that could happen you know that they could straight up get bodied overall and um you know pretty much be in a situation where they lose it all you know they lose their life they lose what makes them uh you know a team or he he might not be able to like go around with them anymore you know i mean sure he's so strong it kind of doesn't matter but if it came down to it over over a certain amount of time sooner or later he might just end up not being able to save you know like he might not be able to do the things that he's been doing for her and that 
that would be um well, not her but for everybody he might not be able to save them all you know so if that's the case it would be interesting to see who kind of takes that overall stand against them or you know uses that type of thing against them um to you know actually better themselves to be in a position of power you know like oh i have someone you want or like you someone you care about and i think that's just going to you know feel feel the fire of one of these girls feeling more important than the other <laughs> i feel like that's that's definitely going to be like one of the things coming up sooner or later it's oh he, he cares a lot more about me and i think we already know who he likes the most out of everybody and it's the girl that reminds him of his you know of like a daughter so i thought that was pretty cool that they actually went that far and just like oh yeah this is feeling more and more like a father-daughter relationship you know like i'm pretty much just stuck babysitting and being a dad now <laughs> and uh can we talk about the bunnies in this show like can they just shut up with this hop and bunny after every sentence every sentence man hop bunny bunny hop hop bunny I'm like oh my god just take them out just put them out of their misery man <laughs> but no nah, they're 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 pretty you know they're literally pretty um so I'm guessing that's another reason why they just might not wind up, you know, being taken out uh, overall. But in the grand scheme of things, I can see them being useful some way, some form. But <sighs> do we really got to watch them? Do we really got to watch them? <laughs> uh, but overall, these shows are doing good. Uh, I didn't expect the Demon Lord show to kind of start to understand his own um his own weakness his own uh you know humanity and stuff like that like it feels like there's some there's something there i mean sure with his uh dragon kin he can't really do you know too much uh you know outside with it seeing how he he keeps saving people that the demon lord might not want to save and stuff like that so it's funny to me that that's actually a problem like how dare you save somebody and now i gotta put up with them like couldn't you put up with them like you don't you don't always are here you know i gotta put up with them um and we have we just learned something about like souls like the colors of people's souls and stuff like that so it seems like we're getting quite a bit of new information that is possible <laughs> just like with certain types of races or certain types of people whatever it means that his color and soul were the same uh even when he was at zero kind of means he had some control he had like some degree of control in there like he should have been able to make one of the calls you know and as we see it it never really seems like that right like it seems like the fool can't ever you know make a call for himself and if he does make a call for himself, it winds up being something that the girls are against. Or once he makes it, you know, he just makes it true because no one can stop him. And that's that's what I was talking about with Cheap Magician is like, uh, this character doesn't need to pretend to be the good guy. He is a good guy in bad clothing, right? Like, <laughs> bad clothing. He's the good guy and he's just seen as a bad guy, right? Like it's already it's already done and said that they're like oh no you're you're a piece of sh you know like you're you're trash you're you're a demon lord you're this and that but then when you really look at it you're like oh he's actually like the best guy in the show he's the guy he's the guy you know and then next thing you know you're looking around you're like oh well who else is in this show that's supposed to be the good guy you know what i mean like who is the supposed savior of this show or you know the person that takes care of everybody it's no it's it's him you know uh sure he does it at his own pace but it just it just makes it for a better show uh when he, when you have someone that actually wants to protect and then once he starts to protect there's no one that can even you know like stop him from protecting you know so I look forward to seeing where this show goes as a whole. I mean, I think a lot of people do at this point because 
there's not a lot of shows like it and then not, obviously since there's not a lot of shows like it you want to see much more oh you want to see much more that can come from these characters or like how much can they really change over all this set amount of time you know so we'll see how all this plays out i'll definitely be here recording all these episodes because it's it's fun for me to watch it not to mention i have this game now where i can you know like play and chill with my homies not not have to make a video by myself and then play with them later i can literally play this game while i'm doing it so i truly love that and oh my god i just so i didn't set it off um but yeah i can't wait to see what you guys are saying about this show if you like it if you hate it whatever the case may be uh let me know in the comments down below and if you do enjoy it let me know why or if you don't enjoy it let me know why i'm definitely curious into the overall consensus of this show because to be fair not a lot of people have given me like that good of a reason to hate it i thought i was around the corner on them and i wasn't um and i'm i'm not saying you should just like give me a good reason to hate the show it's just there's not a lot for me to like be mad at it about because there's not it's not doing anything i didn't expect it to do you know like i expected most of this stuff and it's staying relatively true to that image and i i appreciate that aspect so with all that being said, I will definitely talk to you guys in the next one because as of right now, I will be still needing to watch The Muscle Show. And because of that, I can't um, like I can't wait to actually, you know, get all this stuff done and be able to relax and hear from you guys. So, all that being said, I will talk to you very very soon and have an awesome one and peace. I swear if we die to this thing cuz I was playing like an idiot boom it should be like one more shot man I messed this guy up boom oh no alright everybody <laughs> peace